Welcome back, everybody. Okay, we're going to continue talking about the center of excellence, but we're going to focus on DLP policies. So let's get started. Okay, so I've actually headed over to the Power Platform Admin Center. Now you're wondering, I thought this was a center of excellence video. It is. I want to start with the Power Platform Admin Center because you can monitor and manage your DLP policies there. So I wanted to start here because there's a bit more functionality here, and then we'll head over to the Center of Excellence and show the tool that the COE Toolkit has uh, to manage your DLP policies in, in, in one place with all of your other Center of Excellence tools. And they look very similar. So I have two that I want to focus on. I have Block Twitter and I have Google Restricted here. And you can see that I have others listed, uh, but we're just going to focus on these two for now. If I select it, I can edit it and I can delete it. I'm going to go ahead and edit this just to show you what this looks like. Uh, now it's going to take us through a little bit of a flow here to edit this DLP policy. I can update the name. I can see the connectors, the pre-built connectors that are involved with this DLP policy. And if I click on this, you'll see that there are over a thousand connectors, pre-built connectors in Power Platform that I can move from one group to the others. Now business is the uh, sensitive data group, and then non-business is the non-sensitive data group. You can pick what the default group is. Um, right now, the non-business is the default group. And what those two groups do, um, you cannot use a connector that is in business with a connector that's in non-business together. Um, so when you're building a flow, you'll get a warning message that says that they are in different groups in a DLP policy, so those cannot be used in conjunction with each other. Now, you'll see this other group, blocked. This is what I am using for the uh, Twitter DLP policy. Now, I'm not just straight up blocking Twitter completely. I can actually manage what actions I am blocking. Uh, so I have post a tweet here, retweet, get followers, a bunch of different get requests here that I actually don't really mind. We can, we're gonna turn those off. I'm not gonna block these. I'm really just concerned about posting a tweet and retweeting. So I can also say, okay, what if new connector actions get added? Should I allow them? Or do we wanna block those right off the bat and then we can decide what we wanna do? I'm actually gonna say, let's block them because we don't know if there's um, some type of posting action where we could take data from our organization and post it to Twitter. So I'm going to say block. I'm going to save that. So we have detailed control over these connectors as well. It's not just a block everything from Twitter. It's we just don't want things being pushed out to Twitter. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to move on to custom connectors. So what about custom connectors? We can also block endpoints in custom connectors. Uh, so we have complete control over both pre-built connectors, but also custom connectors that our makers might be creating uh, to connect to other platforms. So we can say, okay, we're just going to go ahead and, and block any Twitter custom connector that's built. We just want you to use the pre-built connectors to get, uh, to get data from Twitter. We don't want uh, to open this up to the full Twitter API. So we're just going to go ahead and block all of that. And you can specify different connector patterns um, if you want to get super specific um, with your custom connectors. Okay, now scope. We can specify just certain environments that we want this to apply to. Uh, maybe you just want to apply to dev environments, or maybe uh, you just want to lay a blanket policy across all environments, which is what I'm going to do here. Uh, for add, uh, um, I'm going to select add all environments here. And then I'm going to review. So it'll give you a nice little review of what you've done here. And I can update the policy. Okay, so now let's look at a example where we're actually just going to be moving connectors from one group to the other. Let's edit this. We're going to keep the name Google restricted. And then we're going to go to the pre-built connectors here. So I've actually changed the uh, default group to the business group. So I'm just going to say a blanket statement that everything is sensitive data. 
and we do not want anything being combined with any Google connectors to maybe push our data to any personal Google Drive or Sheets or anything like that, uh, Gmail, um, anything getting pushed via that. Um, now, this is just an example to show you kind of what, um, how these groups work and, and kind of how you could use them. Um, but what this means is any of these connectors in business will not be able to be used with these Google connectors. Um, so information cannot be passed from those connectors to the uh, Google connectors. Um, I do not have any specifications in the custom connectors, but I probably should add um, a pattern for any Google APIs. Um, that would probably be a good idea to add to this uh, policy as well. And then I can add um, to either all environments or just select uh, multiple environments here. And when I select that, you're going to see an environments um, step pop up here. And I have just the development environments in our um, environment selected. So I just don't want anyone um, messing around in our development environments, pushing things to Google. I can review that. I have no updates. Um, but again, you get a nice little review here uh, to see what's getting updated. Okay, so this is the DLP policies section in the Power Platform Admin Center. So what's it look like in the Center of Excellence tool? Let's go over there and check that out. Okay, so now I'm in my COE environment and I can see all of the different tools that the COE has here. But the one that I'm gonna focus on is the DLP editor. So we can manage our DLP policies within the Power Platform Admin Center but also we kind of have a nice set of tools here that's in one place in our COE environment. So you don't need to go looking in a bunch of different places here to edit all of your governance rules and policies. You can go straight to your COE environment and you can manage your DLP policies here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this. It's gonna open up the DLP editor app and we can see a very similar view to the Power Platform Admin Center and see our list of DLP policies for our tenant. We can copy a DLP policy if we just want to make a little tweak. And we can actually go and check this out. So looks very familiar. We have our steps for our DLP policy here. We can rename it. We can see the connectors involved. We can see the scope. We can see all the environments here because they are all added. But what's nice here is we actually get an impact analysis when we want to update something or create a DLP policy. We can see there are no apps actually using Twitter here. But if there were, they would pop up here and, and we could see, oh, we actually have an app using Twitter or a flow using Twitter. This is going to impact them. Maybe we need to reach out to that user who has created this app or we can set off some alarm bells and say, oh my gosh, we already have somebody using this Twitter connector. We need to block this now. So maybe you can actually see real, real time that this DLP policy will take effect um, right away and blocking any apps or flows that are trying to push data out to Twitter and, and take action on that right away. Um, you can also export these impacted apps to CSV um, so that you have this outside of this little flow here um, for updating the DLP policy. So a nice little feature that is not present um, in the DLP policy editor within the Power Platform Admin Center, um, a nice addition for the Center of Excellence. And then we get our review and you get this nice little addition with the impact of the apps and flows that have been analyzed. And you can update the policy. Very cool. Um, you have this all in one place in the center of excellence, uh, all of your apps there that, that you saw listed and it includes your DLP policies now, which is phenomenal and gives your COE a nice center for uh, managing all of the different aspects to your power platform environment. Mm -hmm.